I'm now being joined live on this broadcast by Dr. Sunita Changakoti, former chairperson of the Assam State Commission for Protection of Child Rights. She's also a social activist working extensively for the protection of rights of women and children. So first of all, Dr. Changakoti, welcome to Northeast Life and thank you for giving us your time this evening. So since the last Lok Sabha elections, Dr. Changakoti, there have been 23 reported cases of crimes against women, including rape. And this has been stated by the Assam Chief Minister himself. So we're witnessing a spate of such cases in recent times. My question to you, Dr. Changakuti, so despite you know, having stringent laws like the POXO Act in place, why, according to you, are we seeing so many instances of rape and crimes against women in recent times? Uh, yeah, there are actually there are many factors for which the accused can escape many times. Uh, there is a, for example, there is delay in forensic report, and most of the uh, time it has been observed that there is always delay in giving the forensic report, or sometimes if the victim is dead, then postmortem report is also not uh, submitted on time, and uh, there are other also the factors also like um, the. Uh, proof of uh, semen or uh, some other marks. Uh, these are the factors for which uh, the, there is the charge sheet is not prepared on time. And there is delay in submitting the charge <clears throat> charge sheet for which uh, there is always uh, the uh, time for the victim to escape, uh, for the accused to escape. So we have observed that uh, delay in uh, preparing the charge sheet uh, means uh, the uh, accused person gets uh, time to escape and uh, the, the process, the whole process gets delayed. And therefore, uh, we have observed that uh, the in um, many POXO cases, the accused can escape and uh, the victim does not get the justice. Right. Uh, Dr. Changaoti, you know, is it that exemplary punishment has not been given to the rapists or that the conviction rate is not increasing? Do you think these also could be contributing factors? Yes, yes, too many. Actually, yeah, this is true uh, because too many legal formalities loosen the POXO cases. Uh, we have observed it is uh, my so far my uh, experience is concerned uh, the accused of the POXO cases uh, should be given stringent punishment I uh, like I, I I must say that the accused should get stringent punishment like either hang or life imprisonment otherwise uh, if there is no any exemplary pun punishment uh, the, the, the those people who are of criminal mind crooked people they don't have the fear for law and that is why these cases rape cases has not been we have not been able to reduce us rape cases so unless the all the rapists are given stringent punishment there will not be reduce of cases as uh, box of cases i mean rape cases so stringent punishment is a must and for which the legal formalities have to be identified think it is have to be some uh, somehow they have to be uh, uh, modified or some corrections may be required right right now uh, dr changaguti if we talk about the incident that occurred in dhing you know it comes close on the heels of the high profile case that occurred in kolkata so you know my next question to you is you know is it that when the media covers such high profile cases like the rg kar rape and murder case does it encourage criminal minds rather than discouraging them Yes, uh, to some extent it's true because too much of uh, publicity for media TRP and then um, sometimes the politicization of the cases, uh, the accused person, uh, they, they, feel they get importance rather than they are uh, discouraged, they get importance and they are, they are encouraged to commit more crimes. So uh, it, when um, the accused have been able, and this is the reason for which the accused, uh, I mean the people of those uh, criminal mind or the rapist, they are more encouraged to commit such crimes. So I think that there should not be so much of media coverage or so much of, uh, no, too much of politicization and then uh, too much of, uh, no, people um, make even cry. But ultimately, uh, 
it is the uh, it is the accused or it is the rapist who takes advantage of all these things right right and miss uh, dr changa goti you know whenever such incidents happen we always blame the police and the administration first but we also know that even the police cannot guard every single locality lane or area so what according to you is the role of the society in this regard as far as ensuring that such incidents do not keep happening uh see we are always satisfied by doing some protest or dem the demonstration or lighting candles candle lights or writing in social media but these accused persons are not concerned about this protest because they are not uh, they don't see all these things but society as a whole is responsible to stop these uh, incidents like uh, we each and every family has a responsibility uh, and uh, especially uh, for the children uh, at the at the home uh, the, the children are when children are grown up uh, they they see this type of uh, many types of crimes um, i mean criminal incidents in their home or or sur their surrounding their home so when these uh, children are brought up in such uh, circumstances definitely they develop the criminal minds and we um, have observed some uh, such type of rapist i mean uh, ch children uh, accused children who have been brought up in such type of environment so the society as a whole is very much uh, responsible and uh, we are like we have some responsibilities like immediate information to the police or to help the police uh, to arrest the accused uh, like that and also i would urge on the um, uh, no uh, awareness uh, awareness and alertness of the uh, children especially it is the mother or it is the parents who should be always aware and alert right. uh, for the safety and security of the children and uh, uh, children especially the girl children they should be taught for self defense nowadays of uh, it is a must Um, and the self defense and self protection and they should also be encouraged to fight for their own safety and the parents should be all the parents should be uh, aware and alert and uh, immediate any the, um, such case like not only uh, i would say not only the case of rape but any abuse abuse child abuse it may be uh, like no um, uh, even the if teasing or uh, bullying all any such kind type of cases should be informed to the police and unless to we, we society as a when we have the um, Uh, we have the quality of uh, no you, you know uh, blaming uh, other each other but uh, in spite of blaming each other we a uh, society uh, each and every person each and every family should be aware and uh, we should always help the police and if we find that there are sometimes uh, allegations that the police does not take the uh, importance give importance so if there are any negligence uh, then we must inform to the higher authority but we have to take the police into confidence and we should if it be find any negligence then we must mm, inform the higher authority and we should always be uh, aware and alert and be careful and uh, in case of any such uh, incidents uh, the police must be informed and society no you know people must be the neighbor maybe the neighbors maybe the uh, some uh, society members should be informed so we all have the responsibility to uh, bring safety and security for our children absolutely so the responsibility lies with each and every one of us in order to ensure a safer society for our women dr sunita changakoti thank you very much for joining us today on evening prime and sharing your valuable insights on this burning issue thank you once again